Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much, enjoy. <clears throat> Everything going? Right. Okay. Oh, I hope my Pokemon have items. Okay, hey everyone. I've got a um, Wi-Fi battle here, a Gen 5 Wi-Fi battle against Slug from my Discord on Battle Night. Um, okay, so, he's not really running a sand team, but he's got a Hippowdon. Oh, I can show you my team here as well. This is my team. Shine, please. Um, the Dragonite. Jirachi. Tom the Staryu. So, who do I think he's going to lead with? Man, his most likely leads are Hippo or Mienfu or Shower or whatever. Four rocks. You could also do Scizor. Scizor would be rough if I lead, but I'm thinking I'm going to do... I actually, also, I'm not too familiar with my team. It's, again, it's just like... Oh. <laughs> it's like a Smogon team. Uh, you don't have Thunderbolt. Frick. So I'm not too... Like I said, I'm not too familiar. So if he leads... Oh, even, if he, if he, even if he leads Keldeo, it's fine, because I have a Psychic move. Okay, so... We'll lead with this thing. And then the rest of the order doesn't matter. So, yeah, I'm not, again, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not the most familiar with my team. I literally took it off of, like, a Smogon Teams thread so I could build, I, so I could build teams like that. I don't have the time to breed and level a whole team for, you know, this. From Gen 5 for scratch, so I have to do, you know what I mean. Um, but we'll see. Uh, if you, any of you would like to participate in these battles, Gen 5 is really, really easy to do Wi-Fi battles for. You don't need any special connection settings or anything like that. So, Pringles. Ah, so that's the, um, this thing. And it's a girl. Pringles only works for the guy, for the, for the male version of that. Okay, so this thing's going to Shadow Ball, probably. It could also Scald. Um, it's Spideth, but they usually run a lot of defense. What's my best answer for this? Not Jirachi. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Going into Dragonite and just freaking... Does he even have... What's his team? I can't check his team. Uh-oh. I already forgot. Ugh, I don't think he had a... Oh, he had Scizor as his steel type. Frick. It's not like modern games where I can check his team. Oof, I have no good answers to this. My best answer to this is a Keldeo. He could fear Thunderbolt. I don't want Starmie to take damage. It needs to have Rapid Spin. Dragonite's like not a great answer for this. Garchomp's not great either. Whatever, I'm just going into Dragonite. Hopefully he Shadow Balls. Dragonite can just uh Yeah, okay. So here's the thing, right? Do I think he's gonna go into Scizor? Yes. I'm just doing it. If I fire punch now and he doesn't switch out, I look like a fool, but whatever. That's kind of the point, right? Oh god, I, I can't, I can't, I'm feeling like some regret about clicking fire punch right now. Oh, 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 scissor, scissor, scissor. Please be, oh, it's hippo. Oh, that makes, that's actually a really good mid-ground play. Um, because this will take the fire punch very well, and now he learns that I have fire punch. So, I regret it, but not for the reasons that I thought I would. So, that's fine. Okay, so Starmie is my obvious play here. I think he's going to rocks. So, I'm going to go Keldeo on the potential rocks. And if he rocks... If he... Stone Edges, that's fine too. He's not going to Earthquake, right? So, uh, Smogon damage calc. Alright, so, black and white. 
Okay, so what do I have here? I have Keldeo. Oh, you come mind. It earthquaked. Are you serious? That's a play. I oh, is this banned? Or did he crit me? Wow, he crit. That sucks. I can't believe he EQ'd there. That's crazy to me. Alright, I have to um, hidden power here, anticipating the jelly to come in. And the reason I have to hidden power here is because I have hidden power ghost, I'm pretty sure, with a ghost gem. And so my kill I can't calm mine like I want. Because I still would have I would have calm minded and then hidden power ghost. Um, so now Keldeo is dead, and I just need to get as much damage on this thing as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I die. Okay, that's bad. That's super bad for me. Now, I could risk a Scald Burn and go with for SD here. What's my... Uh, I don't know what hidden power I have. It's probably ice. I could go into the bug and quiver dance. Hmm. Let me see if I can find... Let me see if I can find this. <laughs> it would be Ruins of Alf to find my team. A past gen resource. B white resource. Uh, I think it was a re my team archive. I don't think I used this. Yeah, this isn't what I used. This is not what I used. Okay, so... What's his team? I already forgot. Hold on. Let me check. Okay, so despite it being kind of a win con for me, I have to go into this thing. I have, to, I have Giga Drain. I have to QD up. Like, now. Is... Hold on. Let's say I do... Full Corona. Pretty sure I'm offensive, Quiver Dance. Bulky Quiver Dance? No, I don't think I'm bulky. I think I'm offensive. Um. Let me see. Jealous and uh, utility counter. How much is Giga Drain doing? Alright, Giga Drain would actually... What about... If I assume OU Mixed Wall... What if I'm at plus one? Giga Drain's probably the play here, or QDing? QDing could be a really good play. And if it's a fully physical one... I'm gonna QD. No, Giga Drain is definitely the play. Dang it. Uh, now, if Quiver Dance is the play, because if he stays in, he might go to Hippo. Yeah, this is fun. Because I have a Pasho Berry, so his water attack actually won't do that much to me. Oh, he toxic me. Interesting. Hmm. That's weird. I think it's just Giga Drain here. He could go into Scizor.
Giga Drain's my safe play. Um, but... I, I, fire Blasting here is way too much of a risk. QDing might have been the better play. But I don't want to let him get damage on me and QD as well. This should kill? Unless this is like Mega Max Bedef. To be fair, I also don't know my EV spread exactly. Fuck, that sucks. That's so bad for me. Oh, it's recovering? Really? These things aren't usually Max Bedef. These are usually like physical. But now I kill with another Giga... Oh, do I not kill with a Giga Drain here? Wait, does plus one really not kill? That Calcron? What is this thing? Full special wall. I know it's not too common. I think that's a roll. Do I fire blast here? Uh, he might just do it again. Uh, this sucks. Oh boy. He could go to Scizor. I have like no way to hurt this thing because of my Keldeo dying there. Do I think he's going to go? I've been making a lot of offensive reads. It's like a roll to kill. He probably thinks he'll live. If he goes to Scizor, I made such a bad play. I think this can kill. Maybe maybe it's out. Maybe that's more than 60, but it looks like 60 to me. Alright, this never kills. Holy moly, this thing's so bulky. Oh, he scalded me. I have a passion break. That does nothing. He made a mixtape. Now I get to Fire Blast here. Okay, cool. Once Jellicent's out of the way, I'm much, much less worried, but still kind of worried. Alright. So I'm going to take a decent chunk from Toxic here, but that's fine. Um, like I said, I have multiple okay cleaners. I know Fire Blast is a bit risky, but... Because like, I could miss, which would be very unfortunate. But hopefully he goes out into like, Hippo, or Zam, or anything but this. Hopefully he wants to preserve it for some reason. Maybe just even as a sack. Because, like, Fire Blast still does a lot to Hippo. It'll kill Scizor. I mean, it's my strongest move. And it'll kill this. I think it's my safest play. Yeah. Okay, so I should outspeed his whole team. Except maybe if it's Scarf Manchow? Is that what it usually is? I think it's what it usually. I think it's like its classic set is scarf. <clears throat> no, it seems to be like a mixed attacker. If it's scarf, it'll outspeed me. I don't see any Pokemon on his team uh, being a particularly potent scarfer. So, Keldeo maybe. I'm really glad Jellison's out of the way. Um. Hmm. I'm struggling to think of what else I can do here. Okay, Zam. So this thing could be sashed. Do I not outspeed this thing? I just fire blast here, right, for big damage. Yeah. Yeah, it's sash. Sash magic card. That's the that's the norm. Psychic. That's fine. Um, do I have anything to beat this? Oh, my Jirachi's Scarf, right? I believe I have a Scarf Rachi. Chillin'. Big chillin'. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't check if it was Scarf. I'm pretty sure it's Scarf. <laughs> like 80% sure this thing's Scarf. So we'll just U-turn. It'll kill it. 
And if he switches out, I gain momentum. So Again, a a preserving Zam is smart. Or Fudin. As he's got it named here. <sighs> because right, I don't want to leave a Scarf Rachi in while he's got a Hippo. Because I'll never kill the Hippo with this thing, right? Hippo's actually looking also to be a problem. Since my special attackers are both dead. Actually, no, I have Starmie. So, this Hippo shouldn't be a big deal. Actually, Starmie's looking pretty nice against his team right now. Deals with Keld. And uh, none of his other mons, besides maybe Scizor, would really be okay with switching into it. So that's kind of nice. So I think I'll go actually... I don't know if I'll go into it. Uh, Garchomp's... Garchomp might be my safest mon if... d Knight's also a pretty safe bet. thinking really hard here. I mean, if he preserves this, I'm happy to keep it. Like, I'm happy to get momentum, I mean. I'm, I'm playing here from the back. Uh, okay, so, what is he going in? Hippo? Oh, Scissor. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so, who do I go into on a Scissor? Let's see. <laughs> Ugh, Garchomp's looking like my best play. What are you holding, Rocky Helmet? I'm gonna go into this. Now, here's my thing. Ugh. So, if I do... Swords Dance, right? I don't have a Yachi Berry. Versus... Attack plus two. Ugh. So he's going to go either... He's going to stay in or he's either going to go into Hippo here, I think. Who else would he go into? What else would he do? Rocks aren't the most valuable right now. I don't want him to go into Zam. Scissor's not going to do much to me. And I don't want to make an offensive double. I mean, I could, right? I can't really hurt it with this, though. Oof, this is so hard. Do I SD? What do I do? SD is bad if the Zam has HP Ice. I mean, Hippo could have Ice Fang, but I bet I live one from Hippo unless it's Banded. I missed Dean. Okay, stayed in. Is he SD? Oh, you turned. Alright, so he's got the up on me. That is bandits. Did he crit me again? Or is that just really strong bit? That is super bandit scissor. Holy moly. Wow. That's like Adam and Bandit or something. He's gonna go into Mind Fu or Kelder or anything faster than me. If he goes into Hippo, I'm happy with that. Mind Fu, yeah. This thing's just gonna each fuck. I should just earthquake the rocks or anything but what I did. Do I, I? I think I have to preserve this, right? This thing maybe goes HJK or. This is so bad for me. Because it, it has U turn, so it'll like destroy Starmie. I just go into Rachi. I just have to go into Rachi and hope I live a high jump kick.
I probably don't. I HP is good. All right, that's what I thought. It's life orb. Okay, that's good to know. <sighs> okay, this is rough. Oh, this is so hard. Because if he goes into Scizor, right? I feel like he's got no reason to not go into Scizor, but if he makes the offensive read... If he makes the offensive read and predicts my U-turn... I'm boned. I get Healing Wish. Going to C Then I'm like down another Mon, dude. Well, now I know that uh, Starmie's faster. Is it even worth preserving Garchomp? What does, like, Garchomp even do? <sighs> Garchomp's slower than everything and doesn't... I think it's just U-turn, man. I think you U-turn if he stays in, I go into Garchomp. If he switches out into Scizor again... Oh, this is fine. This is actually way more than fine, because... Oh, I can get in Starmie here, yo. Alright, alright, alright. This is actually so good for me. Starmie. Offensive rapid spin. Hydro pump always kills. Okay, so good. So. He might go into Zim here, which is okay. Because at least that thing will be dead for sure. But uh, it's analytic Starmie, so it will be doing quite a bit on Switch. Yeah, I just pump here. No reason to not pump. Like, if he goes into Scizor, or, like, nothing on this team wants to take it. Even the Keld. <clears throat> this Pokemon is so good. I have to preserve Starmie as much as possible right now. And it's not Recover. <sighs> I'm stressed out, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else to say. Sorry. I'm doing a very bad job commentating this right now. Sorry. Um, he's taking a while to decide, which is fine. Um, I think his best play maybe is to sack Zam. Um, because, honestly, Hydro Pump could also miss. And then... Then I'm probably... I lost, but... Um, he doesn't have much that's going to want to take this. Because he goes, let's say he goes into Keld, I could then Psy Shock. Um, and then even if he does decide to switch, like, y y you'll you'll see. that It's just a very, um, Starmie's going to be a very strong Pokemon for me. And I really, really have to preserve it. Nothing on his team wants to take the hit. Now, it's true, I probably have to, um, sack Garchomp after this thing gets a kill. Because he can then bring in Mind Shao, or he can then bring in Scizor. Um, actually, if I do... Scizor Choice Band. Hydro Pump actually is a roll to kill Scizor. Actually, it'll guarantee... I'll actually always kill Scizor, so he can't even bring Scizor in after I kill something with this Starmie. So that's really good. This Starmie's in a really, really good spot. His best play might be to sack something and even bring in Zam. I kind of have to switch Star, Star you out on Zam and then bring in Rachi. Okay, Scizor can't eat this. This does 90 to 106. Yeah. Okay. So, am I life for it? Yeah, I am. Okay. And that's analytic boosted. Does it do less if I take away analytic? No, it doesn't. So, uh, it's not including analytic. I don't know how, though. <laughs> I don't know how to, how, to, how to make it do analytic boost. Yeah, that, that's a good play. Um, 
What's Alakazam's standard set? It definitely has Shadow Ball on it. Bug or Signal Wing, I see. Interesting. Alright, so it's probably best play for me to go into Chomp and Sack that and then U turn with Jirachi again. It's not worth having Jirachi. Because Jirachi could take a Shadow Ball for sure. I mean, I, I can't let this. Like, this thing's faster than me. I just can't let it happen like this. Starmie's clearly my win con right now because I let Volcarona die hella early. Um, this guy's playing really, really well. Now, assuming that Keldeo isn't Scarf, besides Alakazam, um, every, Starmie's faster than everything on his team and can also just kill everything on his team. Okay, I went into Garchomp. Who's he going into? Hippo? Huh. Interesting. So this is fine. Um, I get damage off on Hippo. Do I Rocks here? Because Rocks doesn't really do much for me. Two of his poke... All three... Three Pokemon resist and Alakazam is immune. The question is, do I Outrage or SD? I think I Outrage, go for big damage, and then... Because I, I have no reason to preserve Garchomp, right? I would rather just... Now, if he's slack offs here, probably bad for me, but we'll see. He's Stealth Rocks. Why? Super weird to me. Like, it's kind of important, I guess, for D-Knight, but... He's letting his hippo take quite a bit of damage. I mean, I regret not SDing, but if I SD'd and then Garchomp died, I gained nothing. And so he's just going to slack off the damage here. But, like, I don't care. Like, I'm fine with Garchomp just dying. Like, Garchomp exists to be sacked right now, so I'm kind of fine with just, like... Hitting the hippo and making sure hippo's low. I mean, SD would have been really nice, but... Because, like, again, I get to bring in Starmie here and kill something. And I have another way of dealing with Zam besides... Scarf Rachi. Come on. Damage it. I hope I damage it, and then he, um... He's probably going to wait for a conf He's going to slack off until I hit myself in confusion. But, whatever. Oh, he just Ice Fang. Okay. Oh, he's going to take rough... Yes! Oof, this is good. This is so good, actually. Actually, he's going to take a lot of damage here. This was a big mistake from him. He should have Earthquaked. Earthquake would have killed me. Okay, so... Wait, wait, wait. Let me... Let me... Let me... Let me... Let me... Let me think. Hit Powered on. OU Physical Wall. What is... Dragonite doing 50% with Outrage. Extreme Speed never kills here. Outrage isn't the play. <sighs> Starmie's probably the play. Because if I go in here and I Outrage and kill this. He goes into Zam. How much does Alakazam do to Dragonite? Okay, so actually, Dragonite, Alakazam is only doing 23 to 27%. I will be above that. This is a mistake. No, it wasn't. It was a kind of a mistake. This is definitely a mistake.
What do I do? What's Ice Punch doing? I should have brought in Starmie. Oh, this is a big mistake for me. Because I can kill Hippo here, no problem, with Outrage, but not Extreme Speed. And then he brings in Mind Show. Well, what does Mind Show do to... Oh, you all-out attacker. Yeah, to Jirachi. Oh, you choice scarf. How much is high jump kick doing? What's my Rachi at? It's not guaranteed KO. So I could outrage. I could ice punch. I want to Outrage, hoping he goes to Zam, basically. I guess he could have HP Ice on Zam. Oof, this was stressful. Sorry, this was a very stressful turn for me. Because this will kill. But I've condemned this guy to death here. So he goes into Mind Chow, I go into Starmie, and then I go into Zam. Okay, so... Uh, I kind of see my win. Oh, this is rough. So he's gonna go into Mind Shower Keld here. Keld is either going to it's either gonna be Keld with Icy Wind or Now luckily I don't have to risk hydro pumps anymore. I think I am fine just spamming Psy Shock. And Jirachi can always take one hit. So if he doesn't go into a Pokemon with an ice move here, I can probably take that attack. So if he goes into Mind Shower, I'm dying, right? And I can't switch. He knows I can't switch. Um, but then I can, uh, he'll kill me with the, the ice attack. I'm going to start and I can shy shock and kill something. Uh, Jirachi's choice scarf, what's it taking from Alakazam? Shadow Ball's doing 30% and then I can U-turn. Uh, I should be okay. Oof, this is big spooky. I think I have this okay. Dragonite, I think, wasn't the play. I think the play was... Hold on. Oh, just spam phone call. So, listen. If he goes into Zam here, I live. Now he's going into Keld. He's probably Icy Winding. Ooh, does Keld... What does Keldeo do? Yeah, all you out attacker. Does it live a Psy Shock for me? That actually could be. I don't. It doesn't. Uh, I have an okay chance to Oko. Rocks would have guaranteed this Oko. And even if he's got HP Electric, it should be okay. I have to get my DS charger. He probably... Oh, I'm not going to talk from this low. Oh, he took a little sand damage. Oof. Is this enough to guarantee the KO? I don't know. The play here is always Psy Shock. If he's Scarf Icy Wind and then slows me, that's fucking really good for him, actually. Oh, if he did that, then he basically just won, I think. Not basically won, but still. It'll be tough for me. I mean, Scarf Rachi, if, if he stays in, lets this thing die, and then I go into Scarf Rachi, I could just Iron Head for the win, right? <laughs> guys, I am losing it. This is so tough. And this guy's really good at Black and White OU. Um, like I said, if he's not Scarf, I'm faster, and then I kill it. Um, and then he'll go into Zam, and to my response will be to go into Rachi, which I will live any attack from. Which my play would be then to U-turn again, and to get back into Starmie, because either I kill it and I go into Starmie on faster. Okay, this should be okay. This is not a guaranteed Oko, it's 96. He might already be below 96. What if Sand's up? 
75% chance to Oko after no difference? Please Oko. I mean, will an HP electric kill me from this range? Did it live? I can't tell. It doesn't look like it. Alright, it's dead. Okay, so here if he goes into Zam, I go into Rachi. And then Rachi should take a should live. Or actually, wait, is my play just to hold on. Is my play to let this thing die? Well, my Jirachi definitely takes a Shadow Ball. So I feel like I have no reason to not... It even takes a Focus Bless, right? I take both just fine. So I should go into Jirachi. Then if he doubles to Mind Shadow, I think that's fine? I mean, maybe... Ah, maybe sacking Starmie is the play here. But I think Jirachi probably kills that Mind Shadow. Because it's looking like Mind Sh I'm doing 60 to 70. Mind Shadow was pretty low. <sighs> this might be the more risky play. No, because I can't recall what his exact HP was. That's the problem. So I live a Focus Blast. I love a Shadow Ball. Obviously, I love a Psychic just fine. He has to... He's either... I, I can only imagine his play here is thinking about either attacking or doubling. Um, his better play is probably to double? I feel like I've got him in, like, checkmate, checkmate right now, but I'm not positive. And this is an intense one. <sighs> Thank God for Drudge's bulk. I mean, unless he's some random hidden power, right? Okay, he stayed in. My play here is to always Iron Head after I live. Yep. He might... Does he know I'm Scarf even? Alright, I think I've got this in the bag now. I should be two or three Iron Heads away from victory. Because if he switches out, then he loses. And if he stays in, he loses. I think he has no recourse here. I think I've won now that I've gotten Jirachi in safely. Because Starmie's faster than Mind Shadow, right? Yeah, yeah, I think I think I just won the battle. Uh, because he could have crit me and I died, but I think I've just won the battle here. Um, man, hope my commentary was interesting for this battle. Um, I've been a little bit distracted during it. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so he just sort of sealed his. My stupid. He only has these two left, right? Oh, it was at full. Oh, it's got Regenerator. Woof! Guys, I forgot about Regenerator this entire time, if I'm totally honest with you. Holy Toledo. And I know this thing's Life Orb. Yeah, these are his only two. I think I just Iron Head here again. I'm fine. Does he know I'm Scarf? Is he sure? Is like... I don't think he knew I was Scarf. Ugh. Holy moly, guys. Uh, he said, not risking the Zen headbutt, miss. And I was like, no, I don't, I don't even have Zen. Um, yeah, I don't even have Zen headbutt, friend. I have U-Turn, uh, Ice Punch, Healing Wish, Iron Head. 
that's a really, really good game. So if you want to get in on some battle action like this against me, uh, try checking out Battle Nights on the most Friday nights against me for Gen 4 or 5. And sometimes 7 if I feel like it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this battle. Sorry if my commentary was a bit scattered. I was doing calcs, sort of stressed, sort of hyper or whatever. But yeah, hope you enjoyed.